Before we begin, comment really quickly down below which side you think is the more high-end side and which side you think is the drugstore side. What is up my fam bam? Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and today I am doing the versus video that I talked about uh, last, last week and it is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara versus the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is all glittery and pretty because it is part of their anniversary collection because I couldn't help myself with this packaging. Let me just, let me just show you real, real, real quick and then we'll get into it. Oh, she's glittery, she's beautiful. And um, I've been using this mascara for, let's say over five years, whenever it launched. Whenever it launched, that's how long I've been using it. Probably my millionth tube of it. And I only picked this one up. I had a couple like travel sizes that I was trying to get through. And then I was at Sephora during the 15% off during November and I was like, hmm better get her before she's gone. So I had her in my back stock and then Coverall Exhibitionist walked into my life and as you guys saw from the last video, I was freaking out. It was so, so good. So today we're gonna see how it compares against this high end. So this is an $8 mascara and this one's a $24 mascara and we will see which one is the winner, okay? This video was supposed to go up last Friday, so I do apologize to my subscribers out there for not uploading because literally right now, I'm about to go to Disneyland. My husband surprised us with Disneyland passes again. We were gonna take the year off, but then we just gonna help ourselves and he surprised me and I'm so excited. So I wasn't prepared to be gone all day today. I was gonna get that video up for you today, but now we get to have some fun and I'll definitely throw in some little Disneyland shots towards the end and I will do my, my wear test checkup at Disneyland. How does that sound to you guys? It sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, as far as claims and specifications go, I'll pop them up on the screen right here if you'd like to pause it and read through it. I have already gone super in depth on both of these mascaras in past videos, so you can check that out too if you want a little more in depth. Now I showed you the wands compared to each other in the last video, but just to show you here again, just in case you missed that, the Exhibitionist Mascara wand is just a tad bit longer, but the bristles are actually shorter than the Better Than Sex one right down here. But other than that, they're very similar shape. They both have that hourglass shape, hourglass wand. Even the actual product looks the same. They both have a little bit of thickness to it, almost like they're clumpy, but not too clumpy, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and start lacquering my lashes because it just definitely looks like I'm missing a little something something. I hope these aren't too different. I hope they're as similar as I think that they are gonna be or else it's gonna be a little bit of a different look today. It's okay, I'm gonna wear my sunglasses for most of the time. It's actually really cold outside, but it's super duper sunny. My eyes water like crazy, so I just did this little nude look, no wing line or anything. I'm gonna first apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara onto this side. Already curled my lashes and everything, but just to show you what it looks like after being curled, if you wanna see what they look like not curled, it's in the last Exhibitionist Mascara video. I have a problem with the rambling, honestly. Ugh. It's like I don't know when to shut up. And I won't fast forward this, so you guys can see it in like real, real time, you know? So there is like one dip. It's like over, you know, like over and over sweeping, sweeping, but that is how I usually apply it. Let me go ahead and show you how the exhibitionist applies. I have been using this mascara, you guys, since I did that video last week. It's awesome. I have gotten no flaking, no smudging, no like weird goopiness. It's been a while. I was talking to some of you guys in the comments in that video and I'll just, I'll just tell you in a second. Let me show you how easily this applies. It's like, okay, that took half the time. Half the time of applying the Better Than Sex Mascara and like, oh, they're a little bit thicker. And I didn't have to do nearly as much. You saw. 
wow. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a second coat. So now what I was gonna say was I was talking to some of you guys in the comments of the last video and I mentioned I had to get ready full glam in the car with my husband because we were running around and seeing clients and stuff and he had me wake up at six o'clock in the morning and no girl, I wasn't gonna wake up at five to get ready. So I was getting ready in the car. I brought lashes and everything because I was going like full, full glam. I put on a couple coats of that exhibition mascara and I was like, Nah, girl. Nah, girl. I'm good. I don't need lashes today. That's how good that mascara is. Like, you know, sometimes when you do full, full, crazy, like, uh, you know, cut crease and stuff, eyeshadow, and then if you don't wear lashes, it's kind of like, something's missing. But it didn't feel like anything was missing with that mascara. I was so taken back. It was crazy. Okay, so this is the second coat. Definitely getting some thickness now. For some reason, the Too Faced one feels more flaky going on. It feels like I'm getting a little particles in my eyes, but I don't know if I am. Weird. Okay, so now getting thick, almost starting to clump up over here, as you see. I have battled this mascara against three other mascaras now. You guys are probably tired of seeing it, but honestly, like, it's my, it's my bar, baby. And if you can pass that bar, you get a pass. So far, nobody's beaten it out. Mascaras have come close, but this one, you guys, I don't know. We're about to find out. Okay, now it's starting to get a little more clumpy. The curl is so much better on Exhibitionist, which I really like. I thought the Better Than Sex mascara curled really well, but boy, let me tell you. Wow, that's crazy. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes too, but can you guys tell which one is which? Like if I switched it all up, would you guys be able to say that's the more expensive side, that is the cheaper side? Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and do the lower lash line. I do not usually like the Better Than Sex Mascara on the lower lashes because it curls like in too much, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And I also always bump because the wand is so big. One more for good measure. I like the lower lashes on the Exhibitionist Mascara too. Wow. <laughs> Oh, super long, but it just applied so much easier. All right, maybe it's silly. They do look very similar, but <laughs> I think I really, really like the Exhibitionist Mascara. It just curls so much better. It was so much quicker to apply and like get that like drama right away. Like you had to, I had to do so many more coats of the Too Faced and like overs and overs and overs and overs. And I like the lower lash line. Better on this side. Okay, so based off of this little look, they look very similar, but as far as application goes, if I were to pick one to use right now, I would use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Oh, that means I finally found a mascara that beats out the Too Faced one and it's at a fraction of the cost. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Wow. They do look very similar, but I mean, gosh, for the price, I, look at the curl. Look at the fanning. Oh, I can't. I can't. You guys get the point. Okay. So I will do a little wear test. I haven't had any trouble with either of these ones, smudging or flaking. I hear a lot of people complain that the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara does on them. I don't usually have a problem, but you know what? You never know, going for like a full day in an amusement park. So we will see. I haven't had any troubles with this one this week. So we will find out. Come on along with me. Come on to Disneyland and let's check it out. Okay, you guys, it has been over eight hours and we have been here at the park and it was a little hot, then it was a little cold, then we got a little bit wet on, on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, but here is the lashes. So on this side right here is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and on here is the other one. And I'm thinking that they're looking pretty good still. Still lifted. Um, yeah, no, only a tiny, tiny bit of smudging here on the Better Than Sex side. But my eyes were watering like crazy crazy today really bad allergies so I kept having to wipe over here and it was you know it's still holding up a little bit of smudging from the better than sex though and all well that's that little tiny itty bitty little bit of flaking maybe maybe 
Am I reaching? Am I trying to find stuff that's wrong with these mascaras? When don't judge the rest of my face or my lips, I haven't reapplied anything. Eh, ni, thing. But the real tea is, I am actually sitting right outside of the new Star Wars Land entrance. Woo! Let me see if I can give you a peek. It's not open yet, but I have, I see a little, little bit off in the distance. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Okay, so over here you have Critter Country, everything like that. That is, you know, Tom Sawyer slash Pirate Slayer Island. Off in the distance, right there, you have some peaks and some towers from the new Star Wars land. Oh, what is that? Who's excited? I'm excited. Next summer, summer of 2019. All right, my fam bam, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Do not forget to leave me a comment letting me know which mascara you liked better on the video or which one you've liked. Let me know if you've tried either one of these, what your thoughts are. Let's chat it up, let's hang out, let's talk. If you guys liked seeing my little Disneyland snippets here and there and you would like for me to start doing more vlogs, especially vlogs for when we go to Disneyland, you gotta let me know that that's something you guys would be interested in because I love Disneyland and I would love to share a little part of our what we like to do and how we we how we roll in Disneyland. So if you want to see that, let me know too. That is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel and you would like to take this opportunity to go down and hit that little red subscribe button, well that would be awesome. You can be a part of our fan band and then you'll get notified which I upload, which is usually like three times a week. And that is fun and we can hang out and it's cool and it's fun and we gotta talk about makeup and things. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great, wonderful, magical day.